Hello guys, uh, this is the third video on probability and today we will discuss about the die or if you roll two dice simultaneously. Alright, so let's get started. Okay. Now, the second type of question uh, you will get from die. Okay, now don't get confused with die or dice. Now, this is singular and this is plural. Okay, now we know that die has six faces. And let us take that each faces is marked as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, what is the total outcome here? Total outcome for one time is 6 because we have 6 possible outcome. On the sample space, we have 6 options, so the total outcome is 6. Now, dice. Alright? Now, what if you do 2 times? Both have six faces, alright, and both uh, are marked as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, now what is the rule? In point, I uh, told you what you have to do. Now, here the total outcome is 6. Now, here also total outcome is 6. Alright, now what will be the total outcome if you roll two die? If you roll one die, we know the total outcome is 6. Okay, if you roll another die, total outcome is 6. But if you roll both die simultaneously, then what will be the total outcome? 6 into 6, we have to multiply all the remember this, that is 36. Now, you have to know, so what is the outcome that you might get, alright? So, here we know, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 marked in the first time, and in the second time also it is marked with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if you roll two dice simultaneously, in the first time you might get 1, in the second time also you might get 1. Then, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Alright, similarly, on the, on the first time you might get 2, then 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and 2, 6. Similarly, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. So these are the possible outcomes. Similarly, on the first time you might get 1, then sorry, 4, and then 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, and 4, 6. Then 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6. And then uh, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, and 6. So total you have 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 into 6 is 36. So 36 possible outcome are there. Alright, so these are, uh, these are the sample space. Okay, so the, these are the even that are there in the sample space when you roll two die. Alright, so uh, let us take some examples so that it will be more clear to you. Alright, now the first example says if a single throw of a die, so you are rolling one die, find the probability of getting even number, number greater than two, prime number, number greater than and equals to four. Number 8, number between 2 and 5 divisible by 2 or 3 and number divisible by 2 and 3. So we discuss this one way. Now we know that in a single throw of a die, okay, so it has 6 faces. Yes or no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are what we have to mark uh, on the die. Okay, so the total outcome here is 6. Alright, now the formula can find any event. So, number one, even number. Even number. So, what is the formula? Favorable outcome divided by total outcome. Alright? Now, so what is the total outcome? Total outcome is 6 and favorable outcome. So, even number. So, how many even number we have? 2, 4, and 6. 3. So this is what I told in example also. Okay, so in the first video, so three one the three, three two the six. So one by two is the answer. All right. So this is number A. Now let's do number B. My number B, number greater than two. Number I'm writing in sort of greater than two. Now what are the number that are greater than two? Greater than two means not two. Okay. So three, four, five, and six are the number which are greater than. So the total outcome is 6 and the number greater than 2. How many we have? 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 4 numbers. So 2, 2, the 4, 2, 3, the 6. So 2 by 3 is the answer. Alright? Similarly, number 3, prime number. 
So number three, C is priority to prime prime number. So <coughs> total outcome is six. So so that's what I'm uh, talking about. Okay. So in the in uh, almost all the videos, I'll mention this. The terms that we use in math and science are very very important. If we don't know the terms, the meaning of the term, then it will be very difficult for you to do this. All right. The prime numbers. So what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are the number which are divisible by itself only, only and only. All right. And it has to be greater than two or equals to two. And two is the only even prime number. That also you have to. Do. So you might get a question related with uh, finding prime of getting uh, prime even prime number. So let's add that also. G H I uh, even prime number. So that also you know. Okay. Now prime number is the number of the number of the divisible by itself only, and it has to be uh, greater than two or equals to two. So two. 3, 5, 7, these are the prime numbers. Alright? If you look at this one, how many prime numbers we have? We have 2, 3, and 5. So 3. So 3, 1, 3, 3, 3. So 1 by 2 is the answer. Alright? Now, so this one we did, this one we did. So prime number also done. So now D. So D, probability of finding number greater than or equals to 2. Greater than or equals to 2. Sorry, greater than equals to 4. Now, what are the numbers that are greater than 4? So now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, it has to be greater than 4, means 5 and 6. And it is, it has to be equal also. So, 4 also we have to take. Okay? So, how many numbers we have? 4, 5, and 6. Now, why we have taken 4? Because it, has, uh, it is equal also. So, 3 by 6. So, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 6. Alright? Now, Number E, number 8. The priority of finding 8. So, how many numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, can you get 8? No. So, what is the priority of finding 8? 0. That occur, or uh, this event won't occur or happen. Alright? Now, number F. So, number F. Number between 2 and 5. So, what are the number between 2 and 5? Between 2 and 5, not 2 and 5. So between 2 and 5, so 2 is here, 5 is here, so we have 2 numbers here. So total outcome is 6, so between, okay? Now uh, if it says what are the probability of getting a number from 2 and 5, then we have to include 2 and 5 also. But here it says between, so between means not 2, not 5, but what are the numbers in between 2 and 5? 3 and 4, so 3 and 4 means we have 2 numbers here, so 2 are the 2, 2, 3, that's 6, 1 and 3 is the answer. Alright, now next one, divisible by Two or three. So what are the numbers that are divisible by like two or three? So first let's uh, find out. So two, two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six. So these are not the number divisible by two. And three, three ones are three, three twos are six. So these are the numbers that are divisible by two and three. Now six is common. Keep this in mind. So uh, if the numbers are common, then we'll take it. We count it as one. All right. So now, now here is one formula. If it is or then in the question, 2 or 3, 5 or 6, alright? Then we have to take all the values. All the values divisible by 2 or 3. So 1, 2, 3, this we count it as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So what will be the answer? Priority of finding a number divisible by divisible by 2 or 3. Now what is the total outcome? 6. So what are the number divisible by 2? 2, 4, 6. And what are the number divisible by 3? 3 and 6. Now, if it is or, see the difference. Here is or and here is and. Okay? So if it is or, then we will take all the values. But keep this in mind, if uh, the number is repeating, then we count it as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 6, 6 in both, uh, if it is divisible by 2, also 3 also will get 6. Yes or no? So we count it as 1. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 2, 2 is 4, 2, 3 is 6. So 2 by 3 is the answer. Alright? Now, the next one is, Number divisible by dv0 by 2 and 3. Now see the difference. Now this is h. Yes? Now divisible by 2 and 3. So the total outcome will remain C. Now here, if it is 4, we are taking all the values. But if it is and, alright? 
then we'll take the common. So what is the common here? So what is the common number or the quantity that are divisible by 2 also 3 also? So that is 6 so 1. So the answer is 1 by 6. Alright? So I'm repeating it once again. If it is or, then we take all the values. But remember this, if it is uh, if the, the number is repeating, then we we'll count it as one. And if it is and, two and three, then we take the count. So what is common six? So we have one. So we write it one. All right. Now the last one, even prime, G H I, even prime number. <clears throat> so the total of them will remain same six. The even prime number. Now we know that prime number starts from two and is uh, divisible by itself. So two, four, five. Then 7, uh, then 11, so it goes like that. So uh, even prime, so we have only one even prime. So 2, so this is 1 by 6. So this is always so. If you roll 1 time, alright? Now, what happens if you roll 2 times? So that we'll discuss in the second example. Number 5. Probability of finding even on both time. Even on both dice. Alright? Even on both dice. Now, even on both dice, let's drop this one. Or is it get confused? So, even on both dice means on both the die, the number has to be even number. 2, 4, and 6. Alright? So, if you look at this one, here we have 1. So, we can take any number from here. So, here we have 2. So, 2, 2. Okay? Then 2, 4, then 2, 6. Even on both time. Then 3, we cannot take. Then 4, 2, 4, 4, 4, 6. Okay? 5 also we cannot take. Because 5 is all. Yes, very good. And 6, 2, 6, 4, and 6, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this will be prevail over the outcome is 9, 36. 9, 4, 7. Alright? Okay. Now next one. Number 6. Prime on board. Prime on board. Now, prime number. Prime number means number divisible by itself and has to be more than 2 or equals to 2. 2 is the only even prime number. Keep this in mind. Alright? So, <clears throat> what are the prime numbers? 2, 3, and 5 are the prime number. Yes, sir. Now, uh, we are finding the primary of gaming prime on both that. That's alright. So here we can take any value because one is not a prime number. So two. So prime on both that. So two two because both two are prime. Two three. Okay. Then two five. Two five is the prime number. Then three. Yes, three is also prime number. So three two. Three three. 3, both 3 are prime, then 3, 5, alright, then 4, we cannot take 4 because 4 is not a prime number, then 5, uh, 5 is a prime number, so 5, 2, 5, 3 and 5, 5, alright, then 6 is not a prime number, so we cannot take 6, so what are the favorable outcome, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 9 by total outcome is 36, so 1 by 4 is the Alright, now let's move on to number 6. And number 6, probability of finding. Sorry, this is, uh, was, uh, that was number 6, now this is number 7. So, duplet on prime. Duplet of prime. Duplet of prime number. So, duplet of prime. Duplet of prime number means, what are duplet? Duplet means same number. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6. But we are taking only duplet of prime. So what are uh, duplet? 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6. six. But what are prime? So 1, 1 is not a prime. 2, 2 is prime. 3, 3 is prime. 4, 4 is not a prime. 5, 3 is not a prime. So 1, 2, and 2. So favorable outcome is 3 by 36, which is 1 by 12 is the answer. Alright? Now let's move on to the last one that is number 8. Sum more than 7. Sum more than 7. More than 
So what will be the sum more than z? The sum means addition, okay? So when you add the two number from both the dice, the sum has to be more than 7, but not 7. Keep this in mind. So if you look at this one, 6 plus 1, 7. So we cannot take any value from here. 5 plus 2 is 7, 6 plus 2 is 8, more than 7. So 8 we can take. But 7 we cannot take because it has to be more than 7. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 5 plus 3 is 8, 9, 4 plus 4, 8, 9, 10, 5 plus 3 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 6 plus 3, 6 plus 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is 15 by 36. So 3, 5 is 15. 3, 12. So 5 by 12 is the answer. Alright, so this is how we solve. So that means sum is at most 10. At most 10 means 5 or less than 5. So 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1. Alright? Then 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. 2, 4 we can take because it is 6. Yes or no? 1, 5 we can take because it is 6. 3, 1, 3, 2. 3, 3 we can take because it is 6. Then 4, 1. Yes or no? So now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So probably getting sum at most 5. So total favorable outcome is 10 divided by 36. So 2, 5 is 8. So this is 5 by 18 is the answer. Alright? Now let's move on to the second point. Now it says a pair of dice is rolled. Now here if this is my two dice are rolled, find the probability of getting, do that, sum is 6, sum is at least 10, sum is at most 5, even on both dice, uh, prime on both dice, do that of prime number and sum more than 7. But first you need to know so what is the total outcome if you roll two die? Okay. Now we know that the total outcome if you roll two die is 36. Now what are the possible outcome? 1, 1, 1, 2, alright, and so on. So total outcome is 36. Okay, now let's discuss this one by one. Now first one is duplicate. Now see the terms that we use are very, very important. Until and unless if you don't know the meaning of the term that we use, then it will be difficult for you to solve the problem, alright? The first one is duplicate. Now what is the duplicate? Now if you look at the uh, possible outcome, now duplicate means same number on both the time. Duplicate, duplicate, you can take it as duplicate also. Now duplicate, okay, so you can take it as duplicate also. Now like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 and 6, 6. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 we have. Now probability, number 1, Probability of finding duplet is equal to favorable outcome divided by divided by yes total outcome total outcome. Now what is the total outcome? Total outcome is 36 because 36 possible outcome we have. Now what what I want? Favorable outcome means what we want. So we want to do So how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 6 plus the 6, 6 is the answer. So 1 by 6 is the answer. Alright? Now let's move on to the second question. Now the second question says, probability of finding sum is 6. Sum means addition. Okay, so same formula. Favorable outcome. Divided by total outcome. Alright? Now sum is 6. So that is 2 die by rule. So that is when you add the 2 uh, number from both the dice, the sum has to be 6. Now let's check. So if you look at this one, 5 plus 5 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6. Alright? Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total outcome is 36 and the favorable outcome is 5. So 5 by 36 is the answer. Alright, now let's move on to question number 3. Now, what is the probability of finding? Sum is at least 10. Sum is at least 10. Okay, 
Now what does it mean? At least means minimum 10 and more than 10 all values you can take. For example, if you look at this one, it's not this one, always you get confused. Okay? So in examination time, you can use a color pencil or you can use pencil so that you can learn. Okay, so when you practice at home, use color pencil or color pen so, it'll be, uh, so that you won't get confused. Alright? Now some is at least 10, means 10 or more than 10. Alright? So if you look at this one, the highest is 6 plus 1, 7, 6 plus 2, 8, 6 plus 3, 9, 6 plus 4, 10. So 1 you can take this one, 10 or more than 10. 5 plus 5 is 10, 5 plus 6, 11. So that also we can take because the smallest value is 10 and more than whatever value is there, we can take in 11, 12, 13, all we can take. Okay? Now 6 plus 4 is 10 here, 6 plus 5 is 11, 6 plus 6 is 12. So 10, smallest has to be 10 and we can take more than 10 also, 11, 12, 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total outcome is 36 and this is so 6 plus 6. So 1 plus 6 is the answer. Alright? Now let's move on to number 4. Priority finding. Sum is at most. Now see the difference. At most 5. At least means smallest value we have taken 10 and more than 10 we have taken. Like 11, 12, 13. At most means highest we have to take 5 and the smallest value. So keep this in mind, if it is at least, then what we are taking? Number and greater than that number. And at most, if it is at most, we will take uh, that number and less than that So the highest in at least, smallest is 10, then more than 10 will take. And in at most, highest number is 5, then smallest will take. Alright? So the sum. Uh, so let's run this one. Okay? So let's take another example. A die has six faces marked by the given number 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Usually uh, in the previous example also we have taken that uh, the faces of uh, the die is marked uh, as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But here 1, 2, 3, instead of 4, 5, 6, we have minus 1, minus 2, and minus 2. So don't get the news. Now the question is, a die is sold. Find the primary meaning of positive integer. Now we know the formula is favorable or from the value of total problem. I'm writing in software, but that's not allowed in exam. Okay, so you have to write in full. Now, total outcome, we have six phases. Now, positive integer. So, these three may have positive, one, two, three. So, three by six, which is one by two is the answer. Again, favorable outcome by total outcome. Now, primary of getting an integer greater than, greater than, sorry, integer greater than three. Sorry, integer greater than minus three. So, favorable outcome by total outcome. What is the probability of getting an integer greater than minus 3? Okay? The uh, total total is 6. The favorable total. Now, what are the numbers that are greater than 3? Now, if you look at uh, the number system, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. So, if you go right hand side, all numbers are greater. Alright? So, and uh, if it is negative, the smallest number is greater actually. For example, minus 100 and minus 1. Which one is greater? Minus 1 is greater. So if it is the negative, smaller number is the has the greater value. Alright, so then we don't get confused. So how many numbers are there which are greater than minus 3? So minus 3 is also greater, minus 1 is also greater, and this three also. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 by 6 is the answer. And the last one, the smallest integer. Favorable outcome divided by total outcome. Uh, total we have 6. The favorable outcome. So all are integers. Alright? So this is the smallest integer, so we have 1, to 1 by Alright, so guys, uh, uh, with this example, okay, so I think you'll be able to solve any question that comes from die or two dice. Alright, then the next video we'll discuss about uh, playing cards.